Hello folks, I hope you're all doing well. We are back here in the greenhouse, or as I like to call it these days, tomato and e. So those of you who saw my video the other week there would have seen the problems I've been having with the tomatoes where I think the cause of the sort of stunted growth and the leaves falling off has been over watering. Now, I wasn't gonna film this today. I was, I was just quite happy in here. I've got a bit of a headache. I'm not feeling so great, but I was just happy in here pottering away and I was doing a bit of this and a bit of that and I thought no you know what we'll do a quick sort of five-ish minute video and I'll show you what I'm doing just in case if it, if it helps anybody else who's had the same problem as me then I thought well it's worth doing this video so let me let me show you the sort of thing I'm, I'm dealing with so these these are, are what the tomatoes are looking like at the moment so bear in mind a week to ten days ago they were in this sort of size pot and they were really, really, really wet. So I potted them up into this size pot. I, you know, I took the compost out of this one, I kept the plant in the root ball as one, well, put it in here, fresh compost around the outside and underneath mixed in with vermiculite in the hope that it would draw the moisture out. Now, a couple of them seem to be doing okay. A couple of them seem to have come on all right. Let me, let me just show you this one here. So this is a, a sun gold one, which isn't actually looking too bad. It's looking, okay but if we go back to this one it's still looking not great and we'll we'll give it a quick test with the with the moisture meter to see what it's looking at and it's it's just it's not too bad actually on there let's show you that just so i'm not making things up it's just about on three or four out of ten but it's still it's still not doing great so what i've been doing is with these ones here's an example of one i did earlier i've taken them out with the pots entirely taken all the compost off them. I've been and bought a brand new sealed bag of compost, a totally different brand, so different to the one we've been using. Although I'm fairly sure it's nothing to do with the compost, but let, let's just take that out of the equation. Let's get rid of it. Different brand, different type. It's been sieved to within an inch of its life. It's been mixed in with loads of vermiculite again, ready to go. So we're gonna take all the old compost out here, all of it off the roots, We'll pot them up, we'll try and get them sort of much deeper potted so any of those little hairs that are on the tomato stems form roots and create a much stronger plant and give us a little bit more hope of these recovering and becoming stronger plants. So if you bear with me, I'll get you switched around in here and I'll just take you through how I'm going to do one of these. So we'll use this one as an example. This is the one I was showing you just before and this one is a honeycomb tomato and this was sown on the 26th of March. So I mean you know, we're, we're, we're what, six, seven weeks on and it should be miles bigger than that. So what I'm doing is I've got one of these little sort of plastic sort of kick bucket kind of things down here. It's coming out. You can see the, the dry compost there where it's not really absorbed much of the stuff from the core. So we'll get rid of all of that. And look at that in the middle there. This is still this really wet compost that's just clinging on to those roots in the middle there. So I'm just going to gently sort of give it a bit of a bit of a squeeze and then I'm going to tap it on my hand. So I've, I've already done some of these, which is why I'm, 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 I'm sort of covered in compost already. And I've developed a bit of a, a bit of a technique for doing it. So I sort of give it a bit of a squeeze and then sort of bash it on my hand a little bit and give it a bit of a rub. And it slowly takes all of that wet, claggy sort of compost on there and I'm just going to get shot of that compost it's going to go in the council recycling bin like I said I, I don't think it's the compost but you know what let's let's just get shot of it let me pick this pot up and bring it over here and show you there so that's the root ball and and again this time of the year I'd expect the roots to be much bigger and much better on on tomato plants you know so what I need to do is pot it on so let me just adjust the camera here a little bit because it's more important that you see what's going on here again instead of me, hello. Well, I'll get something set up properly in here at some point. So I'm just going to put, I don't know, about, I don't know, it's about three quarters of a handful of tomatoes in there. And I'm not, I'm not bothered if it covers the seed leaves. So the little seed leaves down there, they're going to die off soon anyway. So we'll just, I'm just going to pinch them off. All right. And I want to try and get this as high up this stem as I can. And that's not too bad there, actually. That's just about coming up to the bottom of the leaves. So I'm just going to pile that in, 
give it a little bit of a shake about and just when it's near the top I'm going to compress it down a little bit not not loads and loads and loads and loads just just a wee bit just enough in there and we'll push that down and if I can find the label again that I've just buried under the compost we'll pop the label in there and we'll take a look and here it is here's our little tomato plant potted on let me show you quite close there so you can see I've come all the way up here and beforehand let me <laughs> let me show you this 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 one looks so sad let me show you this look how's the look look at that you know that's that's kind of I mean that's a bit extreme that was this this one's much worse than the, the, the one we just did but it's kind of how it was and we've brought the compost all the way up the stem there and if I just pop let's just pop the moisture meter I've not put any water in this compost whatsoever and we'll show you there and that is down onto number two so what these probably will do is they will need a little bit of water but I've got a little trick you know those if you've got a steam iron you know the little plastic cup that comes with it that you measure the water in to put into the steam iron that's what I'm going to use to measure out just enough water just so that sort of that moisture meter goes up to about number four maybe number five and get them just right so I'm going to be really really careful over the next few weeks giving them just the right amount of water to see if we can get these little plants to recover but it's not all doom and gloom like I say some of them are looking a lot healthier you know there's a couple of dead leaves on the end there still but the whole the top of the plant on this one which is that's the sun gold one is looking a lot better and this one here what's this one another sun gold one maybe sun gold's very resilient there you go that one that one's looking a lot a lot stronger as well and I've got little tomato plants dotted about over here I'm hoping this one this is a Brad's atomic grape that you know this is it being potted on you can see there's still a bit of stem there so we'll see I, I do have another size of pot up that I could use let me show you them there but I mean they're much much bigger and I, I, I don't want to completely drown the plant in the pot because that's not going to help either so I think this size of pot for now I'll give them another week or two and I'll come back and I'll show you how they're getting on anyway hopefully that's been useful but that's me done for today thank you very much for watching folks and hopefully I will see you on the next one bye for now